date it is December the 25th it is Christmas it's uh, 3 a.m. and I just finished uh, the last bit of programming that I wanted to do uh, before I wrap up the kitchen timer you can see it's uh, it's all together now and I uh, got the feet on here so during the assembly is when I took the last video and um, one of the challenges I had when I was actually assembling it, putting it together, was all the room that the wires took up. And I used some wires that were probably way thicker than they needed to be uh, for the very low currents that were going to, like, you know, the, the display and um, the knob and stuff like that. So I think next time I definitely have to get some thinner wire because it took up so much room and I had to do a lot of bending of things. And uh, it's very hard. <laughs> So um, I'll just show you the operation here. You turn it left or right to wake it up still. I've got it set to be a green color on the knob to match uh, the display and the start button LED. And uh, one thing about the display is that it, it shows up pretty well in this video, it looks like. But in, uh, in real life, like when you get it around um, a light, you know, especially I just tried it out. I went upstairs and tried it out on, on the, in the kitchen. Where my parents will be using it and you know it's dark outside obviously but with the uh, the normal kitchen lights on you can read it but it's really it's pretty it's pretty faint it looks it kind of looks like this if it yeah it looks about it looks about like that if my iPhone screen is any indication of how the video is going to turn out you can see it but it's not it's not super clear and um, I noticed this when I was um, after I had you know got it the whole thing together everything soldered I was locked into using, you know, this uh, this display and this button because of how I had to solder everything and jam everything together. There's just no time. I had like 20 minutes before I had to leave for my flight. Um, when I when I looked at it and noticed it, that, boy, it's awfully dim. <laughs> um, I, but I tried out a blue display and a yellow display, and they're so much brighter. This the screen was just way way dim for some reason. So. Um, well, besides that, here's the um, the menu. Let's do a long click to go into it. That's what I settled on. So first thing it shows is the battery voltage. So um, it checks this whenever the alarm finishes, actually. Um, it checks the voltage, and so it'll show them a, um, uh, a alarm or a, a low battery alert. Actually, not when it finishes, when the, when the unit first wakes up. So it just went to sleep here. Right when they wake it up is when it actually checks to see the battery voltage and make sure it's okay. So this is the voltage that it's reading right now, 3.9. And then if I go over here to the battery alert, this is where you can adjust whatever the alert's going to be at. So at 2.7 volts, that's when it will give them the alert when it wakes up. And then here's the light color. So they can pick what color light they want the, the knob to be. And then here's the sound. And I put in, um, I think it's like 15 different uh, songs I found on this website called cellphoneringtones.com. Uh, I think that's what it's called, cellphonesomethingorother.com. And um, it just has like a language of, um, of different ringtone descriptions, like James Bond music, Beatles, all kinds of different stuff. So I put in uh, some Christmas ones and um, a few other ones that I think maybe my mom might, might like. Um, I didn't have time to actually learn how to write stuff in that language. I wanted to write like a, um, a few different normal alarm noises, but I'm just, it's 3 a.m. Christmas, so it's, I'm just out of time. <laughs> Maybe I'll give them a software update in the future, I guess. So uh, I got it set to be a, um, a Christmas carol. All right, so here's the menu for being able to control what buzzers are on so you can you can turn on just one or turn on both of them or turn both off if you just want to have the light flashing to be the alarm so it's kind of a way to adjust the volume um, so um, you can you can set right now it's on both and you can set them to be able to be off or just the left one or just the right one so I'll put it back on both and then um, the alarm duration so you can set how long in seconds that runs so I made it so it could go down to five seconds is the lowest number they can pick, or it can go up to 300 seconds, which is five minutes. So um, the the last setting is the auto start feature. So I'll have that on by default, 
And so that what that does is you can just when you when the timer wakes up, you rotate you're rotating the knob to wake it up, and you just set it to some time like like three minutes. It'll automatically start in a few seconds, start counting down. So it acts just like a mechanical timer. You can just walk over to this thing, rotate it to what minutes you want. Bam! It'll just start right up. So all done. I'm gonna um, wrap it and put it under the tree, and. We'll We'll go unwrap it in a few hours. <laughs> Merry Christmas.